Hello everybody and welcome back to the Old Stream Farm. So today we're hopefully going to be able to harvest for number two. Yep, I can see from here it's ready. But first, we're going to hopefully buy a feed mixer. We're probably not going to feed the cows today because I need to make sure they've actually eaten all the hay first. Otherwise the hay will be eaten last, uh, which is no good. I want them to eat that first. Uh, I'll check up on them and see exactly how much hay they have left. Probably not too much. They do get through it relatively quickly. Not stupidly fast, but yeah, they do get through it at a fairly decent speed. First thing to do is to check the used machinery cell. And as you can see, we don't have anything in there which we're really looking for, although the JCB is a very good deal. We have the Merlot though. So let's just get into the feed mixer category, which would be animals. And yeah, I don't think I enabled any mods. So it is basically between these two. And I think really, I'm gonna go for this one. It's fine, it's definitely big enough. There we go. So yeah, I'm hoping it should attach. We've got a PTO. So unless the hitch is too high, I don't think we'll have any issues. Nope, absolutely perfect. Look at that. Right, so we'll get this taken back to the farm. Uh, we can even make the mixture, we can do it. I just don't want to give it to them. Not yet. And I think we can probably put the time rate to at least time six. Right, put the beacon on. And we'll head down to the farm. Slalom through the chickens. We don't want to be squashing them. They've actually produced loads of eggs. I've had to put a load to one side. Right, okay. I like that we can actually mix the food with this machine, as it does have the PTO. Uh, but anyway, first of all, cows are down to 15,000 litres. That's good. It means that we can hopefully feed them in the next in game day. So, what I'll do is I'll put the feed mixer here just back it up a bit there we go drop it off and we can put everything in so uh, I need to familiarize myself with this particular mixer I think it said it was 20,000 litres the capacity wow so much straw in there still it also needs mucking out um, but yeah we've got lorry Just reverse this. Okay. Really, only that back one needs to be uh, unstrapped. Well, maybe two. Four and a half thousand litres. Uh, so, yeah, probably two. Just one for now. I think it'd be two of these. I need to refresh my memory as to how big the silage bells are. Now the silage bells are over here. They are five and a half thousand litres. Okay, so really we want to be putting more hay than silage in, because hay is cheaper. And then we can top it up to the top with straw. So I think probably by the look of it, it's going to be two hay, one silage, and then just to the top with straw. That should be sufficient. Perfect. It might still be a little on the heavy side with straw. We'll just have to see. Uh, actually, I'll put the drop nose on this so we can really keep checking. Unless you can see just by walking up to it. No, you can't. Okay. Uh, so the drop nose is just here. It still has the windrow. Excuse me, chicken. Okay. So looking good. But, yeah, I think probably 35% straw is pushing it. Doesn't really sound right. Let's just get the straw bale, and I'll put some in, and we'll see. It's 
slow and steady. So it is taking it quickly into here. Let's have a look. Let's see exactly what it's up to. Uh, yep, that's going to go over. So, better stop. And I think the rest will have to be silage. And then, uh, basically, what we'll do is we'll drop the entire silage bale in, and then it'll be part of the next mix. Although, actually, if it, it does sort of get mixed in as it's emptying, then it'll be taken anyway, the whole thing. Which is more likely. So I think I know the best mixture now. But getting as much straw in there as possible is great for padding it out. So with this done, we can now move on to the harvesting. It's a bit of a shame that we don't get the opportunity to empty this into their trough today. But, yeah, it's just the way it is. Otherwise, the hay is a waste. We don't want to waste it. Switch that off there. And we'll put this under cover. 22,000 litre capacity, not 20. Brilliant. Ready for next time. So, into the combine harvester. We've got a bit of harvesting to do. I very much doubt the other fields are ready. Uh, they were about a day behind. Let's just see. Yep, they're not ready. But they are getting there. They are progressing. Okay, <laughs> it's actually a really awkward field to put the header on in. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually just keep it here. I believe I did this before. We'll just have to pretend that we have a, a worker coming to move the header trailer for us. Perfect. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be a bad yield. Should be pretty good. Let's get this thing unfolded. And yeah, it's an oats crop, I believe. I think I will chop it. Because I don't think there's going to be much left of this series. We are wrapping things up, which is basically getting everything done. And it's also satisfying to see it chop. I very rarely chop. If I wasn't running precision farming, uh, then I would run the chop straw mod because then it would put a layer of fertilizer back onto the field. I think that is a really good mod. Of course though, this is precision farming we're using so it wouldn't have any effect. So, yeah, we would be able to get all of this into one combine tank. I think that's quite unlikely, although it is a very big machine. Oh, I saw that new mud mod, which has been released on ModHub by Viper. Um, that looks amazing. I want to try that out. We could do some uh, mudding videos, getting stuck as I did do in FS15, 17, and 19 actually. I think I did do it in 19. It's always good fun to do it. Right, so we're going to have to bring a tractor and trailer over here so that we can unload, because, uh, well, it might all fit, but yeah, it's not looking that likely. Okay, here we are back in the field, but for some reason the trailer's tailgate is still up. There we go. I'm not too sure what that was about. 
Anyway, the combine is 80% full. I'm going to park this here. I'm going to jump back into the combine. I'll take over. And we'll uh, see if we can get to the end before we hit 100%. But hopefully we can just spin around and unload into the trailer. But we have almost done the entire field. Very handy having the uh, worker. We need to go back to the bakery. We need to see exactly what's happening there, because obviously a lot of time has passed. We could turn this into flour. We still own the grain mill. In fact, it would be a shame not to turn it into flour, but probably not for turning into bread. It just depends on the timing. Um, so we can just sell flour instead. So instead of just selling it as oats, I think we'll sell it as flour. That'll be the best thing to do. It looks like we should be able to get this just by going up and down. A huge advantage of having a big header. So on court farms, yeah, we're going to be hopefully having a similar sort of setup. But we're going to be diversifying. I think, I think we'll do some other stuff as well. Really diversify. Uh, we'll probably have some productions. It's going to be good. It's going to be a big series. That is the plan. And I might even make it interactive so you can uh, vote on future jobs that we're going to do. I do think that interactive series are quite fun. I am also, however, considering dropping a, an episode a week because I do seven videos a week and I've been doing that since 2015 and to be honest I don't have as much time anymore as I work on other things so uh, yeah it's going to be pretty tough to uh, keep up seven episodes a week but more on that it's a later date because at the moment I'm still doing a video a day Okay, right. We approach the end. That is a perfect width. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. It's another 3,000 litres. So I will. I'll take the header off. Um, and we'll get that moved back into the field so the traffic can pass. It looks like they've been overtaking. They've been actually going around the trailer, which is great to see. I know they haven't really, yes. Whenever you go out of view, out of range, um, I think the traffic resets. Because they were definitely queuing here before, and they do not drive around you. Sorry to spoil the immersion. <laughs> I wish they would. And also, like, if they get stuck behind you when you're driving the tractor, slow moving traffic, I wish they'd try and overtake instead of just sitting behind you all the time. Like, if it's safe, to do so, it'd be great if they'd overtake. Like in ETS 2, they do overtake. Don't get me wrong, this game is absolutely brilliant. But also, it does have a lot of ways that it can improve. There's always something to improve. Even in, like the perfect game, well, I suppose it wouldn't be the perfect game, but even with a super, super good game, there's always something that can be improved. Right, okay, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not too sure which field we're going to do first, so safe is just to be here. So we'll head off to the uh, mill. We'll go and get this processed into uh, flour, oat flour. Because I, after all, bought that really expensive production the grain mill was not cheap. I think it was about £90,000. And we probably can resell it, but not for the amount that we paid for it, which is a bit silly, actually, when you think about it, because, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be uh, any less productive once we finish with it. Somebody else can buy it and process grain. I'll have a look. I'll see what the resale price is. It would be nice if it was the same price, but I'm pretty sure it's about half. 
Ooh, we have flour. We've got some here to sell. That was tight. I think I just took the turn badly. Right. Uh, so that is everything because, yeah, it's, they spawned here, so we have three. I'll have to re-enable the production. Those two are finished, although only this one needs to be deactivated because this one will need to be fed with the uh, dough, the bread dough. So um, we'll leave baked bread enabled for now. As for this, oats activate. There we go. So unless the price is super, super good at the moment, we're going to leave these here and we'll sell everything together. Let me just find flour. There we go. Uh, so it would be the bakery, I guess. Oh, wow. The price is super, super good. Is it December then? It is December, yes. Right. So the bakery needs flour. I wonder if I can put them into this trailer. I know we can with super strength, but... Yeah, I don't think you can open just the tailgate. It always starts to tip. Although, what I could do... Yes, this would be good. Instead of throwing them over into it, if we tip the trailer fully, then I'll jump out. And before it closes... Well, it's not going to work, is it? Because I'm, <laughs> no, I'm not very well prepared. Um, yes. Feed these into the back. Nice! I did it. Um, although, yes, they seem to be slipping out the front. That's better. So we'll probably have more to sell in this in-game day. Uh, and the bakery is just opposite the vehicle dealership. So I know where to go. Somewhere up here. Yeah, I think it's this one on the right, just here. I can see the spanner. Or the wrench. Um, there it is. So it should be quite good. Even though there's only three, it should still be quite good. Six thousand plus seven hundred. That's that's pretty good for three pallets. Okay, right. Well, let's go to the bakery, our own bakery. Right. Well, we'll uh, take this back to the bakery and then we'll check the price for the grain mill. I don't think we have to. Do we have to be there? Maybe we do. Well, we'll still check it. I think they have. Again, I'm not too sure exactly which field we're doing next. These two might be ready at the same time. So just put it there. Okay, so the grain mill. Is there any way of selling it again? Huh. Well, I know you possibly can do in construction. Yeah, it doesn't really like you to sell the productions again. 45, yeah, so it is, it's half. Always half what you pay for it. But then, yeah, we could get £45,000 back if we wanted to. Oh, look, we have the next pallet. Very nice. So, yeah, exactly as I thought. Well, it's just the way it is. So, we'll open the doors and we'll put these lumps of bread dough in the oven. Oh, we've got some ones that are ready to sell as well. So, they can all go into this crate open the oven door because there were some which didn't actually get accepted oh no I've broken the oven door or have I no I have I've broken <laughs> that's not good there we go All right yes yeah, so will they be accepted now yeah they were put in there when uh, the oven was full so it didn't really want me to put it in there at all. Nope, don't do that. And this one here. 
Perfect. So these go into there and the other ones go into the crate. As you can see, the oven's full. Close the door. Um, and the crate is full. Huh. Where do you think you're going? Thought you could sneak away, did you? Just because you've been on the floor and you've got a bit of hair on you. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you can't be eaten. Ugh. This is not a fine establishment, I can assure you. Right. Um, I need the ATV. RTV. I always call it an ATV. I don't really know the difference though. I've always known these as all-terrain vehicles. But anyway, uh, we need to go to the store to pick up another crate. Uh, maybe two crates? They're cheap, we'll get two. We might as well. They're probably in like £25 each, which in this game is nothing at all. Even £100 in this game is nothing. Yeah, this is a good vehicle for this sort of thing. Production work. So they will spawn over here, just like everything else. Uh, we'll get into this category. I think it's pallets, is it pallets? Yeah, bread box. We didn't do any cookies. We didn't really have the right ingredients for cookies. We'll go with three. They are really cheap. I don't know if you get reimbursed for them as well. Maybe you do. Like with the shipping containers on uh, Silver Run, when you, when you sell a full load of wood, you get reimbursed for the container which you've purchased. So, I think... Why is that not unstrapping? Huh. There we go. Uh, I think we'll just sell the other crate as it is full. Make some money. It's usually a few thousand pounds. The uh, sell point is that I put the sell point there. It's just the same really as having somebody coming to pick the bread up from you. Buying them from the premises. So uh, it seems alright. Anyway, that was good money. Almost £10,000. Or was it £10,000? I, I missed the exact figure. We had an environmental score reward. Around 10. Right, the ones which are not cooking for whatever reason in the oven. Hey! It threw itself out again. Get back in there. How dare you. These are very naughty bread buns. I think it's full. It must be full. Yeah, it's full. So we are going to have to just increase the rate of time. Get them baking. I think that will affect it. I'm not too sure if they'll be accepted once they're in there. Do it again. Nope. Okay, so it's just going to take a bit of time. Uh, well, we have plenty of time to spend, so yeah, let's just get to three o'clock. Six minutes passed. Right, things should have changed. That one's leaped out again. But I think this... Yeah, there we go. They are being taken once again. So I will continue to feed the oven and feed the crate. And hopefully in a minute we'll have another full crate to sell, we'll see. A 
nothing like a bit of late night baking. We're still going. It's eight minutes to one in the morning, but as you can see, the bread is flying out of the oven. They do take a while. Um, now, there is one limitation. We might be almost out of wood. I've just tried to put a bit more wood in, but it will not accept any more. It accepted my first log, but that's it. Uh, I think it is because it's the wrong tree type. We're going to need another crate. It's just been raining. Yeah, so some of those are going to have to be transferred into here. There we go. And are we done? Let's have a look here. We do still have some wood. Yeah, okay, we'll get to morning. It's another full table. Uh, we're now out of wood. And we do still have some bread dough left. So, um, well, I can keep trying different bits of uh, wood, but it really doesn't want to have any more of that tree, even though it just took the first one without any problems at all. So I don't know if I broke it. Maybe I did break it. Because it was obviously the wrong type of wood. I must say, a lot of bread ends up on the floor in this place. A very clumsy baker. Right, well. We shall sell these. And we do have another crate for the rest of them, so I'll sell this as well. Yep, that's bringing the money in. Yeah, I don't expect this to work. No. Okay, well I have a trick up my sleeve. If I go into here and click spruce one meter, one will spawn. We'll see if it'll take it. It will, lovely. So it was the wrong type of tree, which is what I was thinking all along. Oh, look, they're all piling up under there. Out you come. We're not having any wastage. Oh wow, it actually went in. So if I just lift it up, did it go in? Nope, okay, that's weird. Oh, it's probably because it's upside down. I don't know. They might have gone in. Possibly. Oh, I can see it. Ah, oh, yes, it did. It went in. Good. So we'll just wait for those other ones to uh, be done. This is going to put us in a good position for next time because the cows, yes, the cows have now run out of food. So we won't go any further. We're going to have to feed the cows with our total mixed ration. I didn't think we'd be doing this today, but yeah, thanks to the bakery, we're moving through time pretty quickly. And we'll just finish off the baking next time because there's next to nothing left to do. I also have to do another mixture. Okay, I did see it pop up. There we go. Well, enjoy cows. They're now productive. They are producing milk, so they need to have their total mix ration. And no hay was wasted. That's great. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.